hey you're all greeting yes thank you thank you very much so today is 5th september right 2020 you know why we celebrate uh, this day is september 5th as teachers day you know i mean teacher is great teachers teaches many things so we celebrate this uh, this day as teachers day but why 5th september why not some other day <clears throat> you know there was a great teacher by name sarvepalli radhakrishnan he was a teacher he went on to become president of india today is his birthday so his birthday birthday of sarvepalli radhakrishnan is observed celebrated as teachers day so on teachers day i'm here with in front of you you can post your greetings it will be read out here and you can also ask questions if you are not asking questions then i am going to ask you a lot of questions some of the questions that i am going to ask you are how are you enjoying the heads program are you paying attention to the videos are you able to understand what the teachers are talking in the virtual class google meet class are you able to ask doubts are the teachers clarifying your doubts yes or no last year when you are in <coughs> previous class your old class you used to come to school at that time in the classroom teachers used to teach lessons now that is happening in your house <coughs> you are not able to see the teachers directly but still lessons are going on so my question to you is are you able to understand the same way like last year or you are not able to understand well or are you able to understand in a better way same way better way not same way not that good you you can post your answers are you able to express your doubts ask your doubts are the teachers clarifying your doubts and then are you listening to your mom and papa i am getting lots of complaints that parents are telling <clears throat> when they come to school when teachers ask them to do something children do very very meticulously like good children but at home when we are telling when mom is telling when your mother is telling when your father is telling asking you to do something you are not listening to their words it seems i am getting complaints from parents why remember children now your mother is your teacher as well when she is organizing the program heads program for you when she is supervising that when she is helping you to complete the lesson complete the assignment to complete the project she becomes a teacher we have asked your elder siblings elder brother or elder sister also to act as teachers so she is your mother or he is your father when the heads program is not on but when the heads program is on when you are dealing with studies your mother becomes your teacher you must treat her as teacher treat your father as teacher and if your sister or brother if they are helping you treat them also as teachers because you are at home and it is not easy to come back to school it may take some more weeks till that time if you are not studying then a lot of damage will happen you will forget lessons okay you will become backward in studies so with all the difficulty we we in the sense teachers at school with the cooperation of parents your mother father 
maybe elder brother, elder sister, with the cooperation of your all as one unit now, we are ensuring, my dear children, that your studies progress, your studies keep moving on. So we need your cooperation. You are all my dear children, you are obedient, good children, I know. So listen to your parents. Are you listening to your parents' words or not? Is in my next question. Now, are you writing daily diary? Class 1 children, okay, this is not for you. <clears throat> class 2 children, you can try. But class 3, class 4, class 5 children, you should write daily diary every day. Remember, <clears throat> this corona crisis, lockdown, no school, this will not come in your lifetime. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, many, many years later, when you become elders, when you have children, you can tell corona stories as bedtime stories to your children. Beta, malum, jab me, tisri kaksha me padra tha, corona aya re, aisa papa, kya hua, corona kya, kya, kaun sa seize hota papa, aray, corona to bhot, bhari, itna pora log dar gaya re, vamesha pora Hyderabad aisa, itna parishan ho gaya re, aisa papa, this way you can, you can make bedtime stories out of corona and you can tell, because I am sure this kind of crisis will never come back in your lifetime. Maybe 100 years later. So, this is a lifetime memory. Good or bad, right or wrong. All good, not only good things, even bad things also become our memories. We should learn lessons from them. So, if you put down everything on paper, 5th September 2020, Saturday. Today, being Saturday, no heads program, but Additional principal ma'am has messaged that Amarna sir is going to take a class, question answer session for primary students between 10 to 11.30. They have asked us to post our greetings on YouTube and Facebook. They told that greetings would be read out. They also told that they also asked us to post questions. They said that Amarna sir will answer our questions. I posted a question, Amarna sir has answered the question. This way, whatever you are doing today, if you put it down on the paper, then it becomes a memory. So my question to you children, since you are not asking questions as of now, are you posting questions? Okay, you are posting questions, it seems I will answer. So my question to you is, are you writing daily diary? Are you paying attention to the videos, are you watching them two or three times? Are you noting down the meanings, synonyms, antonyms, opposite words? Are you doing all this? How is your education proceeding? So post your answers there, post your questions also. We will be reading your greetings, I will be answering your questions. To start with now, some of the greetings from primary children, not necessarily primary children, whosoever parents are online today now, you can post your greetings, we will be read out. Though it is meant for primary children. Yes, please. Nakshatra of uh, <coughs> class 8 and Akhila from class uh, 4, I wish a happy teacher's day. Hamza from class 6, which is a happy teacher's day to all his teachers and sir. Samyukta from class 5, which is a happy teacher's day. To all uh, teachers and sir, Rekha from 2C, Rishit from 4C, Bhuan from 1C, they have not mentioned the campuses, but all of them are wishing a very, very happy Teacher's Day. Same way, Mr. Subhash Juluri, Mr. Ramasundar, Ms. Kalpana, Ms. Kushala, Deepika Mahindrakar, parent of uh, Rishit, Deepak Modani, um, Tulasi Addanki, Shailaja Garu, Bhagyavati Rani, Someshwar Rao Garu, Ms. Ashwini, Ms. Preeti, Mr. Naresh, Ms. Sunita, Ms. Pooja, uh, Ms. Uh, Geeta, Ms. Neha Sachnandani, Mr. Anil Kumar, Mr. Ra Ms. Radhika Asava, and Ms. Deepti. They're all wishing us a very, very happy Teacher's Day. Moving on to some of the queries, sir. My child has a problem of expressing in communication. So can you tell us how to uh, sort out this problem of lack of self-confidence? Another parent asks, how do we improve concentration skills? One by one, one by one. How do we improve <coughs> concentration skills and self-confidence and help our children to communicate better? Okay, okay. <coughs> 
Okay, uh, before I answer the queries, questions, my question to all the primary children watching, not only primary children, any child, any Slater or even uh, other children that uh, who are watching this program, my dear children, where is my teacher's day gift? When are you going to give? Tell me. Bad, no? Without gift, I don't want to continue the class. I want gift from you. You know what is the gift that I want from you? The best gift, my dear children, that you can give not only to me, but to all the teachers would be to pay attention to the heads program, to the videos. Get your doubts clarified by teachers in the Google Meet virtual class. Do your homework, your assignments correctly, regularly. So in that way, if you progress academically, learn the concepts, acquire knowledge, acquire life skills, that is the best gift that you can give to me. You know that, uh, most of you know, not all of you may know, March 18th would be my birthday. This birthday, by that time, schools were shut. You know, March 15th, government has asked the schools to be shut. But I am very sure, my dear children, by next birthday, schools will be open. Pakka will be coming to school, even pre-primary children. I am 100% sure. By the time even vaccine is going to come. Okay, so at that time, on that day, I will, I, by the time I will ascertain who has paid attention to the AIDS program, who have meticulously followed the lessons, I will be giving certificates to all the children who have followed the AIDS program correctly and who did their homework, your, your assignments, all the things correctly. Are you ready? So take this as a challenge. Now, uh, the first question is, uh, what is that? How now, to before that, pre-primary parents, I mean during the pre-primary session there was a question. Children are not listening to us the way they listen to teachers. What we should do? Serious gasa chapmantara, kasa tamashka chapmantara. Manavi military commander laga, hey, shao gaan, nata saudan chapdaan ki. Pilla look, asta alaritano, okkasari, Ah, go back, go back, go back, go back. Imagine yourself in the place of your child. Me amma, me nana, chiptana, put me mari, meticulous ga, vinevala. Pillalo, cast alari, cast puntum, that is childhood, that is the beauty of childhood. Every elder's dream is to become a child once again. It never happens. It can never happen. Jivitan chala, chitra vende. Chinna pudu, andamayana bali and lavana pelalandaru. चूडेंसोल they pay more attention to their father's words. They take slightly things for granted. <laughs> granted with mother. Right or wrong? It is, it is a part of growing up. It's a, let us accept it. So, I mean, the other day also I posted a video. I will take an example, yourself as an example, and I will tell you. You like a particular snack, and for example, say roasted groundnuts, pali. You love it a lot. This is what I told in the Heads program video the other day. I'm repeating it. Every day in the evening when you watch your favorite program, whatever it is, you keep a bowl full of uh, groundnuts and one by one without you knowing you are watching the program and uh, yeah, that cup will be out in 15-20 minutes. The same groundnuts, if somebody is standing in front of you and are telling, come on, cow, cow, itinu, 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 if they are repeatedly forcing, you don't feel like after a while, after three days, four days, one day, one, one, one week or so, you develop a kind of aversion towards the groundnuts, right or wrong? Because no human by, being would like to be forced upon. 
బలవంతం పెడుతుంటే ఇష్టమైనదన్నా అయిష్టంగా మారిపోతుంది ఒక బ్లంట్గా కొంచెం తెలుగు పేరెంట్స్ కోపం వచ్చేలా మాట్లాడ మాట్లాడాలంటే పిల్లలతో నస పెట్టకండి ఎప్పుడు నస పెడితే వాళ్ళు మీ మాట వినడం మానేస్తారు పిల్లలకి మనం చెప్పాలి తప్పనిసరిగా చెప్పాలి మరి నస పెట్టడానికి చెప్పడానికి తేడా ఏమిటంటే ఒక్కసారి చెప్పాలి కూర్చోబెట్టుకుని క్యాష్ దర్ అటెన్షన్ మేక్ దెమ్ సిట్ టాక్ టు దెమ్ ఫర్ టెన్ మినిట్స్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ మేక్ దెమ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వై యూ ఆర్ డెలింగ్ దస్ లివ్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ పేయింగ్ అటెన్షన్ దెన్ షో యువర్ యాంగర్ షో యువర్ కన్సర్న్ యువర్ పెయిన్ డోంట్ బీట్ దెమ్ బట్ మేక్ దెమ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ బీ స్ట్రిక్ట్ విత్ దెమ్ దిస్ ఈస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ బ్యాడ్ ఈస్ రిపీటెడ్లీ ఎవ్రీడే రే చదువురా రే చదువురా రే చదువురా రోజుకి పదిసార్లు చదవరా 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 అని చెప్తే వాళ్ళు చదవరండి కాబట్టి ఎస్ వీ షుడ్ బి గైడింగ్ చిల్డ్రన్ వి షుడ్ బి యాక్టింగ్ ఎస్ మోడల్ టు దెమ్ వీ షుడ్ బి టెలింగ్ చిల్డ్రన్ బట్ నాట్ టూ రిపీటెడ్లీ క్వైట్ ఆఫన్ పిల్లలు సెన్సిటివిటీ మన మాట అంటే ఇంకా పట్టించుకోకుండా ఏదో మా అమ్మ వాగుతుంటుందిలే అని మీరు వాగుతూనే ఉంటారు మీరు మా ఒకసారి వాగుతుందంటే మీరు కోపం వాళ్ళు అనుకోవడం అన్నమాట మీరు చెప్తూనే ఉంటారు మీరు చెబుతున్న దాన్ని వాళ్ళు వినిపించుకునే స్థితికి వచ్చేస్తారు ఎస్పెషలీ వెన్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్ టీనేజ్ ఆ స్థితి తీసుకురావద్దు సెన్సిటివ్గా పిల్లల్ని పెంచండి మీ మాట వినకపోతే మీరు బాధపడ్డని విషయం వాళ్ళకి అర్థం కావాలి కాసేపు మాట్లాడద్దు వాళ్ళతో మీరు నా అన్న తిన్నా మీరు చెప్పండి మీరు అలాగండి మీ పెయిను అంటే నటించద్దు మీ పెయిన్ వాళ్ళకి అర్థం కావాలి ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ మా నాన్న సెన్సిటివ్ మా అమ్మ సెన్సిటివ్ నేను కనుక వాళ్ళు చెప్పేది నా మంచి కోసం చెప్తున్నారు వాడు దే ఆర్ టెల్లింగ్ ఈస్ ఫర్ మై గుడ్ ఫర్ మై ఫ్యూచర్ బట్ ఇఫ్ నాట్ ఐ ఫామ్ నాట్ పేయింగ్ అటెన్షన్ టు వాట్ దే వాట్ దే ఆర్ టెల్లింగ్ దిల్ ఫీల్ బ్యాడ్ దిల్ ఫీల్ హార్ట్ ఇఫ్ దిస్ point goes into their mind they will they will listen to pillalli sunnithanga unchali pade pade chepte banda pari pottar cheppadam vini maanestar many of course i should not be praising myself poddana teachers day vachi malli enenti en gurinchi suthi esukuntunnadu ani ankokodadu many parents many a times commented they bring their children to me for counseling they sit in my front when i am counseling the children they listen to what all i said and they come finally comment sir meer cheppindi me cheppam sir kani meer chepte vallalo marpu vachindi me chepte enduku marpu raledu antaru is even the same thing teachers also tell me sir meer chepte vintar sir me chepte enduku vintaru anesi enduku vintaru nenu chepte nenu edo school correspondent ana there are number of school directors who are not even many children studying in those schools they don't even know the directors ikka director ra ఇక్కడ ఈజ్ నాట్ ది పొజిషన్ విచ్ మ్యాటర్స్ ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ పిల్లలకి కరస్పాండెంట్ గొప్పవాడు కాదు వాళ్ళ క్లాస్ టీచరే వాళ్ళకి పిల్లలకి క్వీను లేదా కింగ్ దే హార్డ్లీ కేర్ ఫర్ ఆల్ దిస్ దిస్ హైరార్కి స్టేటసెస్ పిల్లలకి అర్థం కాదు వాళ్ళ ఇన్నోసెంట్ వర్డ్లో మన చెబుతున్న మాటలో ఆ ఫీల్ ఉండాలి ఎంపతి ఉండాలి యూ షుడ్ థింక్ ఫ్రమ్ దర్ యాంగిల్ feel for it and convey the same to them before i start counseling any child first i empathize with the child understand the issue from child's point of view and then i start from vaala daggariki velli vaalu artham cheskuni vellaga na daggariki vaalu theesukostan nenu ekkada untanu but for example now imagine yourself in child's position i mean the people watching this program they are in i mean adults 30s 40s 50s kada or even in 60s 70s kada in the life of a person say who is 40 year old 6 months is not a big uh, is not a lengthy time is not a big issue but in the life of a 6 year old child 7 year old child 6 months is too long a time 6 months they are confined to home imagine their condition they can't play they can't run they can't meet their friends empathize with them and understand their behavior from their point of view and then slowly start bringing them to our point this is required so if you do that parents children will listen to you what is the next question sorry this was the question posted by 
pre primary parents this yes. ma'am's question how do we improve my uh, communication skills of my child child ma'am uh, improving communication skill children listen all of you i should also talk to you english is not our mother tongue telugu hindi urdu marwadi bengali these are all i mean you belong to these mother tongues whichever like my mother tongue it is but we should learn english what we should do suppose if i want you to teach how to ride a bicycle what i should do if i start telling showing you so this is a bicycle you should put one leg on this side one leg on this side hold the handle correctly and then do if i give a lecture for one hour can you start can you ride a bicycle you can't isn't it then swimming this is swimming pool get into the swimming pool hold your head aloft then push water if i teach this okay instructions are required but uh, by teaching alone by my listening to my class alone you can't learn swimming how do you learn swimming by getting into the pool of course under the supervision of an adult how do you learn cycling by start riding the bicycle same way the correct way the best way to learn a language is to listen to the speakers in that language listen to your teacher now listen to the videos also listen i children of higher age group listen to the radio news bulletins tv news bulletins the uh, tv news programs current affairs programs other discussions some good programs on national geographic channel kind of thing when somebody is speaking and you are now listening to me speaking in english so when you listen a lot you will learn the language in a passive way that is the best way to pick up a language listening to others so listen to others speaking first step. second step you should start speaking listening speaking start conversing with your friends okay now you don't have too many friends but who say are available when you are discussing when the heads program is on when uh, the virtual class is on talk in english express yourself don't feel shy if i speak my english is not good what people will think are right? let them think whatever they like nobody's english is perfect for that matter whatever you know you speak children when you are quite young when you are 10 months old 11 months one year old before your first birthday you ask your mama you may not remember were you able to get up and walk just just like uh, salman khan or rajnikanth no na the minute you got up got up you used to fell down then maybe holding some object some wall or hey you speak quite fast the pronunciation is not good there is no clarity in what you are talking people can't understand what you are talking they used to comment i didn't felt bad of course i felt bad for a while i should be frank na for a while that doesn't mean oh my god i am not going to speak now or i didn't uh, decide it that way i understood my mistakes i try to overcome those mistakes in course of time my speaking has become better so children parents also understand expose children to lot of speaking make them listen to good audios make them watch good videos where the spoken english is good spoken english not in a spoken english course normal video suppose if there is a program on national geographic channel kind of channel any such program good program they are listening they are i mean they are exposed to various words sentences okay so best way then let them speak give them opportunity to talk they can develop a blog spot they can post they can post their videos on youtube they can start their youtube channel but uh, um, make it sure that uh, they are not misusing this okay let them talk a lot the next best way to develop language is to read books the best way is to read books when you are reading book your concentration skills improve you pick up number of new words your vocabulary improves 
I mean, it's very difficult to learn uh, the rules of grammar in any language. The more you teach, Archana, when you people, English teachers, feel, uh, teach English, I feel bored, Amma. This is so confusing. Huh? Uh, there's a saying in Tamasha uh, Gandhi. Uh, P.U.T. Puttu, B.U.T. P.U.T. Putta, it's a B.U.T. Puttu Kaval Gada. Aput C.U.T. Kuttu Kaval. It ain't English, Ani. English is a funny language. So if you start telling, no, no, B.U.T. Bot, B.U.T. Poet, Put, it's confusing. When they listen, when they read, it comes automatically. I prefer tea than coffee. No, 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 no. Tea to coffee. When you start teaching, it appears very boring, very abstract to me. When you read it, I prefer, they're all having tea, they're not giving to me, <laughs> behind the camera. Okay, I prefer buttermilk to tea. My buttermilk is ready, of course. Uh, so, to, not than. It comes automatically. I'm speaking now, children will pick up. I prefer fruit juice to coffee. I prefer buttermilk to fruit juice. So, to, this word. This is the best way to learn language, I mean, grammar. According to me. Of course, that doesn't mean grammar exercises should be discussed. No. They are an addition. They are, they are a supplement. They enable you to fine-tune your uh, what you all learnt. To correct, to test what you all learnt. But you can't learn a language by reading the dictionary. Right or wrong? Every child has got dictionary in front of, uh, I mean, at home. Just by reading dictionary, can somebody become masters in that language? Cannot. Impossible. Same way, by just ruling the, reading the reading and learning the rules of grammar, I am afraid nobody can become uh, proficient in that language. The correct way to learn, pick up new words, vocabulary, rules of uh, grammar is to read books, speak, listen. So, now coming to the confidence levels. Let me tell you, when the child is born, every child is perfect. They got a lot of confidence. If somebody, some child has developed inferiority complex, surely it is because of the people around, elders. It could be parents, it could be teachers. Of course, it doesn't happen in Slate, at least from teacher's point of view. Uh, others, friends, they put down the children. Hey, you Never ever put this, these are all negative instructions. These instructions, they get ingrained in the brain of the child. Never ever do that. Encourage them. Don't compare the child. Every child is unique. Tare Jameen Par. Incidentally, that movie's theme was our annual day theme. Not, we didn't copy that. Of course, they too didn't copy it from us. Uh, our annual day, annual day program was there in the month of December. Four months or five months later, this movie has come. I received curious calls from parents. Sir, how do you know the theme of uh, this? No, no, it's not, sir. Independent thinking. I have a small annual day. American Saab is a great artist. Eh? Great movie. To bana di. Even uh, three, even that uh, next movie also. Three idiots. three idiots also. Basic theme. It has come from my mind. So don't compare children. Every child is unique. Uh, concentration. If children like love what they are doing, I like what I am doing. That's why I took up this job today, of continuous classes. If something is forced upon me, by now I might have fumbled 20 times. I am uh, talking for the last one and a half hour. I am enjoying it. I know it's going to be 5 o'clock by the time I wind up uh, my session for the day. Because I love it. So let children enjoy the studies. Studies is quite interesting. I'm going to talk to children I'm to make, how to make studies interesting in course of my next one hour uh, class. Meanwhile, some greetings and questions. Yes, sir. But uh, Gunjan Taparia is requesting you to wish her a happy birthday. Today is her birthday, it seems. All Slaters, uh, which wing, which class? Uh, class and section not mentioned. Wing okay. also not mentioned. Uh, happy birthday, Gunjan. Many happy returns of the day. All the Slaters, join me in wishing you happy birthday, Gunjan. Enjoy your day. Yeah, please come. Greetings. A uh, lot many greetings that we are getting. I'll uh, read out a few names that we are able to capture. Shlok of class 3F, Shreyas of class 2B, Satya Pratik, Raja Venkatadrigaru, Jabin Sultana, Sarita, uh, Rani M, GC Babu, Varm, uh, Varmit from class 1A, 
Tanvi of class 4A, Anuradha, Sriram Garu, Srinivas Bodigam Garu likes the uh, bicycle example that you have given, sir. Parvina Sheikh, uh, Shravana Vallabha, Sri Shravana Vallabha from 4C, Sarita. Dilshad, ma'am likes your LSRW, listening, spoken, uh, reading and writing skills example was, was super, she says. Kirti from 4A of Abits, Mamta Tathed, Poojita 4A of uh, Vijayawada, Aditi 5M, Anshika Aryan Jain, Pramo Chailaja, Saidulu Gaudgaru, Roshni, Dwarkanath Garu has wished us a happy Teacher's Day in Telugu, Madhavaram, Sri Ram Bezawada Garu and Jarita Thakur. All of them have sent in their uh, lovely wishes for happy Teacher's Day. Thank you all. Moving on to some queries. Uh, sir, how do we overcome stage fear? Question by a parent, uh, Ms. Monica. Okay. So, Srinivas Bodigam is watching the program from New Jersey. Hi, Srinivas, how are you? Uh, what is the time there now? Must be 9 hours or 9 and a half hours back. So, 2 o'clock, early morning. My God. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, how do we overcome stage fear? Let me answer this in, with childs uh, because no, I am supposed to talk to the parents in the afternoon. I should not be asking parents question. Then children slaters will get uh, bored. I will talk at their level. Children, when you come onto the stage, some of you want to speak something, but you are not able to speak. Why? Mm, suddenly you will you don't recollect what you want to speak and uh, some of you your stance will start shivering maybe sweat in the palms uh, uh, good, good, good morning teachers you, this, you, you speak why this happens this is called stage fear why stage fear stage fear when you feel that People there, people in front of you, they know more than you. And if you commit any mistake, they will laugh at you. This is what you feel. You are very conscious. My God, if I commit a mistake, all my friends in the class are going to laugh at me. So, I should be talking carefully. What the teacher will think when I, if I commit a mistake, maybe a teacher will feel bad. Of course, slave teachers will not beat you, but generally other children may think teacher is going to beat me. My friends are going to make fun of me. If you think in all these ways, you develop stage fear. Even adults also. What, when, they, when a, an adult, male or female, when they are talking to their friend, they talk quite naturally. What Arjuna, do you agree or not? Martha the Kotlartana Pudu. Yes, yes. Behind camera, behind Facebook. Bartho, me barn with the Kotlartana Pudu. Flow, which is Nanki, Leda. Definitely. Kudiga. <laughs> okay. So, I was joking. So, when we are in a kind of uh, informal situation, Flow natural ga vasto the baga mat lost the friends thought huskies kona puru ila ila ant sandar ballo. When we think we are in a formal situation, we become too conscious of what to speak, what not to speak. Then we become this. Nenu okate sutran jatta na. This may not apply to slaters because they're okay quite young for all adults. When you want to talk something on the stage, imagine that the person in front of you knows lesser than you. Ni kante telivena vadu avatal unnadan kunte nu matla leveka. Vad kante na ke ku delsu vadu le da ame am kante ku delsu na vad vad kante ku delsu an kunte na matla dekalutta. Which means na you believe in yourself. Arey when you are talking on a topic, you you know something. And you are going to talk about that. You are going to deliver that. Why feel conscious? Children on their own, they will not develop stage fear. I can show. I can call a LKG child, UKG child. They'll come and speak naturally, whatever they know. If I ask them, tell me the import, UKG child. Uh, come here, talk about the importance of 
a father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, they will, they will not be able to talk. If I ask them, whom do you like the most better? My father. Okay. You tell that in full sense, I like my father very much. Or I like my mother very much. Okay. Tell me, why you like your father or mother very much? They will be able to answer. They are at their natural best. When we comment on them, hey, this is not the way, that is not the way. You should help them. Okay, you stand properly. All these instructions should be in an encouraging way. We, the adults, pull the children down. Mana walani, walalo, in negative feelings, petesta vande. Oka college function lo matla daalante. Bayo, endu kante, aathal kurchuna college students who urko nar visile astar ye matla arte comment jasta ranchu. Kabati college functions lo matla daalante maha maha speaker le hardeli potar. Andu kuchan gual ra babu mani ye matla di na wali venaru gual jasta rant. Aathme viswasa onda le matla de idhi topic ni. In our style, college and degree college, they are all in jovial mood. Ah, is their function. If you go there and start a lecture, my dear students, today India and the world needs a lot of moral grooming. And think, okay, <laughs> your parents will decide. If the school is reopened, some parents may not like to send their children to school for some weeks or months. All right. We are ready to cooperate, already I told. Mm. Till the time parents send the children to school. It could be May or June 2021. We are ready to continue with its program. But for those children who are ready to come to school, once the government gives permission, we will be having classes. So hold for a while. Hold for a while. Uh, have patience. We are all going through crisis. Not just you. Children all over the world, especially in India. And uh, coming to the other child, I request the parents to take care of such like children. Leaving only one child at home, I understand the compulsions of the parents. Yes, if both of them are working, they have to go out. But also understand the plight of the child. Within your this thing, try to make some arrangement. It could be like if you got a good neighbor, uh, maybe spending that child going to the neighbor's house or relative's house or some the child should have some company child staying alone at home from 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock or not even even if TV is there I, I don't uh, um, I don't say that uh, I don't uh, allow the child to watch TV for that long time child should not be alone no child should be left alone during the daytime, they should have some company. So I request all the parents. Now, till Sunday, it is very, very tough for some parents. It's not easy. It's easy for me to tell. I accept. But within the limits, make some arrangement. Ensure that the child is having some company to move around, to play, to talk. OK? Now, we'll have some greetings, and then continue with the questions. So many greetings. By the time we make a note, uh, there are uh, as many as 10 or 15 flowing by. So as many as we are po uh, we'll be able to read, we'll definitely read out from here. Sir, we'll definitely uh, look into all the comments uh, later on after the class today. Happy Teachers Day, sir. I'm Kirti Purna, Kriti Purna Varshini from 5B Vijayawada. Veena Kukudupati, Happy Teachers Day, sir. Akshara from class 3, Karman Ghat. Sai Zahasra 3 from uh, No Wing. Wing is not mentioned. Mokshagnya Venkat and uh, Prah uh, Prahamsa Tribhuvan 4B Vijayawada Happy Teachers Day sir and to all my dear teachers Sreshtha Class 3 Karman Ghat Happy Teachers Day especially for the ones teaching life lessons really a good way of celebrating this day sir for children by teachers to everyone Rohant of Class 5 Radha Happy Teachers Day sir Siddharth Class 3B uh, Srivarni Pooja Joshi Sadia Sharif uh, Vaibhav Rupika from class 3 Happy Teachers Day sir Yash Agarwal class 4 Happy Teachers Day to sir and entire slate teachers Tejas Happy Teachers Day Amarnath sir Sushmita ma'am Nagamani ma'am Kirti ma'am Shravani ma'am Chandrika ma'am and Pooja ma'am Thank you so much uh, Tejas taking all your teachers names Kaustup class 4A wishing all the teachers of slate a very happy teachers day Manivardhan class 5E Karman Ghat Happy Teachers Day to dear sir Vidhi and Ganesh, Vidhi of class 1 and Ganesh of class 3, wishing a happy teacher's day. Happy teacher's day to all my lovable teachers and caring teachers. Sri Bhuvan of 1C. Fatima, 
happy teachers day sir anvesha singh 3c happy teachers day to all my teachers chandini tak hanish sai class 2c ravi kishor uh, archana rai class 5g uh, rohit class 3a hema chandra class 6a happy teachers day to all my dear teachers of slate jagruti priyanka soumya class 4d sudhakar hello sir this is urmi sri tanvika happy teachers day sir vandana sancheta 4j happy teachers day sir punam agarwal sujo uh, suja koni and sanchit wishing us a very very happy teachers day thank you all thank you all very very much yeah now the question <coughs> this uh, question is one of one of from uh, one of our parents parent of vanshika doshi class 2a sir if the schools reopen soon that is at the end of this year how do we as parents prepare children mentally to get back to their regular routine as they're almost diverted and most of them are still in the vacation mode this is a repeated question <laughs> by a couple of parents yes many 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 people i'm also afraid of uh, our executive sarchana once the school is uh, open will you be able to come out to this uh, school anjula faisal all the people be uh, behind the cameras will you be ready to come to school at 8:40 <laughs> and uh, because you people got used to heads program or no the routine has become uh, what i should say this routine, routine. Or, uh, <laughs> no routine no routine no this problem will be there compulsorily with all the children i'm afraid even with the teachers i mean, i posted a message in teachers group that day other day probably from september 21st teachers 50% of the teachers uh, to how to come to school teachers do you remember you used to come every day to school at 8:40 huh? and you used to go back sometime 3 o'clock 3:30 4 o'clock do you remember those days long long ago will <laughs> in a jovial way i posted so it will take time for sure uh 15 20 days maybe maximum one month we are all here ma'am we are all here sirs we will motivate children we will guide children we'll give them some time suddenly day one if they have to go back to the normal room is not possible i am fortunate enough all these days i was not sitting at home A tv channels were calling me almost every alternate day so even during those strict lockdown periods march april when the roads were empty i had the pleasure of traveling on the roads of course i was not driving vehicle tv channels uh, vehicle used to come to my home used to pick me up so i have seen first time in my life totally deserted roads of hyderabad uh, when i start from my home till say jubli hills hardly five to 10 vehicles on the road of course here and there some policemen so i was uh, i pushed myself into some work i was doing lot of korean corona <laughs> counseling uh giving suggestions to people so i was keeping myself busy i cannot uh, sit at home idle with no work that is the greatest punishment uh, that i can give to myself but not all people are like this people got used to that used to a, a different sort of uh, routine a new normal they are calling it so surely there will be some challenge difficulty when the transition is is going to take place we are here to take care we'll uh, we'll ensure we'll have we'll not have very very rigorous sessions to start with maybe first a uh, few days we'll have more fun activities remember lessons are going on what they are missing now is yoga sports field trips of course i'm not telling that once uh, schools are started i'm taking them on a field trip again all these things matter i mean the social distancing there are so many norms that we have to follow depending on uh, the sop standard operating procedure we will be following all that we'll make the schooling as fun as engrossing as possible uh, we are here don't bother that is our responsibility and what parents have to do at that point of time we'll also communicate to you but just relax now vantana ochina pade dan cross cheddam andi mundugane enduku ante naaku idea undi em cheyalo appudu elanti difficulty untundo naaku i'm having idea and we got an action plan also we'll communicate to you dan gurinchi meer appade uh anta aadurda padakkar ledu next question uh, in addition to the previous question sir uh, i'm worried uh, being a parent uh, this parent's name is zaid moiz milani sir 
he says uh, will it be safe for me to send children to school when it reopens can't online education be continued for this one academic year yes sir i told already i'm repeating for all those parents decision is your sir see when governments ask us to reopen the schools we have to oblige we will be reopening but there will be no compulsion on the parents some parents may wish to send their children to school especially many people got corona already i mean the chances of reinfection is absolutely low so such like parents would like to send the children they are welcome some parents they want to as sir has posted surely sir you can we will cooperate with you till the end of academic year if you want the child to be at home we are here we'll take care we'll continue with the ads program assurance is mine next year when the child comes back to school we are we'll assure you that child gets back to normal track there will be no um, gap between this set of children that set of children but let me tell my dear parents the impact of this i'm not trying to give you any false assurance i'm not trying to convince you to send children to school i'm telling once again the decision is yours i'm telling in general the corona panic itself is the reality one magnified thousand okay and the impact on children absolutely low i have interacted with hundreds of families during the last four months many many parents all the people are getting infected five six the elders they are falling sick high temperature some of them even getting admitted into hospitals younger children primary high school children just one day fever cough and many of them not even that when tested they are testing positive totally asymptomatic two children in 1 lakh if 1 lakh children get affected only two children they can develop mis multi uh, multi organ infection syndrome which is also curable now they develop rashes reddish eyes etc they are the symptoms and if they are taken to the hospital curable of course children this doesn't mean uh, you take it for granted and uh, you act whatever you like no you should listen to what parents are telling wearing a mask maintaining physical distance uh, don't use sanitizer when you come back home use soap sanitizer only when you are out when you how to uh, sanitize your you have played outside you come back don't use sanitizer now use soap wash your hands cleanly because sanitizer all said and done is not that good and you don't need to wear masks when you are at home and your family members three or four of them you are going in your car no need to wear mask if some other if you are hiring a cab a driver is new or some other person is there there you need to wear a mask wear masks when you are in public places when you are alone suppose you have gone to your park nobody is seen around you can put your mask down okay caution is required panic is bad okay so parents relax let me tell you one great news our slate uh, teachers employees strength is around 2000 drivers i am as office boys put together i can happily tell that no except for one telugu ma'am belonging to high school section she was hospitalized and now she is uh, relieved from hospital she is quite all right now only one person was hospitalized many many of them they got infected they recovered without any this thing at home home quarantine and they are telling sir it is because of the uh, suggestions you gave i was sending videos to them what food to eat what precautions to be taken how to overcome this very easily they have overcome deaths etc are happening generally of course i don't say that all deaths because of this but when there is a panic enough caution is not taken for example i have been asking people to um, check their oxygen saturation levels through pulse oximeter uh, and some people unfortunately lack of information when the reading was going down also they were not the person was not taken to the hospital in such like cases unfortunate deaths have happened but 
our fam slate family especially the teachers admin staff drivers office boys imas none of them except for one ma'am was admitted to hospital and even that ma'am is all right now so caution is required panic is bad that's what i talk about tell about uh, corona and any of you need any suggestions any clarifications on corona parents can feel free to contact me you know the way to contact me my uh, home landline numbers are given they are in the handbook you can contact me through facebook uh, you can just post a message to adp through the cug it comes to me in one minute i'll be answering you in another two minutes it's all maximum five minutes time that's how generally but if i'm in a program today for, of course if you post to adp i cannot answer because i'm here in front of the camera so that way yes sir two slaters yeah. nitya from class 4 and saumit from class 6 borum page their questions sir you are an inspiration to all of us but who became your inspiration because you became a teacher and what is your proudest moment as a teacher both the children are siblings they want to know the answer <laughs> okay uh children nice question you put me to slight trouble <laughs> uh for uh, teaching actually to tell you i never thought i should become a teacher i my parents know uh right from my birth they wanted me to become a doc doctor but i couldn't become a doctor because uh i was under age i was not allowed to uh take up right uh, medical entrance exam because of under age when i was 3 year old i completed class 1 so when i completed 10th class you don't believe my age was just 12 year i was supposed to be in 7th class i completed 10th class so because of under age i was not allowed to write and i was forced to join bsc after completing bsc i had a chance to write medical entrance exam but uh, ago i why should i join with my juniors if i write mbbs if i get a seat in that mbbs entrance i mean if i get a seat in that i'll become on par with my 3 years juniors so my ego didn't accept that i even though i wrote i didn't prepare well so i couldn't become a teacher i mean i couldn't become a doctor then i came to hyderabad i wanted to become an ias officer i came here to take coaching for civil services examination i wrote the exam 3 times i was successful in preliminary means i went till interview all the three times one time i got selected to some service but not ias okay so i didn't join that while i was preparing for ias exam many people especially when i was successful in reaching till interview many people they used to come to me for guidance so i started teaching remember um i mean you, i didn't tell you this <laughs> my parents were teachers both my father and mother so i was born and brought up in the school at that time when i was in higher class no because my parents were teachers i had chance to teach lower class children i i was the mentor i mean i was the class mentor and i used to take care of the class because it was government school but i never thought i'll become a teacher then i started becoming uh, so i can't tell that one particular uh, person was my inspiration Uh, I learnt this through tri trial and error methods. Uh, I'm a keen observer. I keep observing what is happening around, and uh, I am supposed to be a good psychologist. I understand the. Uh, now I'm imagining these two uh, siblings sitting in front of TV and listening with uh, me with this glee on their face. Sari is answering my question. I can <laughs> see the visualize their faces. okay so uh, when i am delivering a lecture i am taking a class i look at people i am talking to primary children high school children college students parents hmm, i see the reaction on their face i make i try to make the subject inter interesting so this art this science i will, is, uh, mostly i have learnt i have developed on my own i can't say of course there are number of people uh, but i didn't i, I cannot name one person Uh, from whom i got inspiration i have learned from many many sources what is the second part of the question what is your proudest moment as a teacher yeah three milestones number one of course proudest moments when i was giving coaching for civil services examination we got state first ranks for 10 times consecutively when you get three times it is called hat trick isn't it 
we got three hat tricks plus one more 10 times state first ranks group one group two uh, degree college lecturers examination junior lecturers examination SIA police MPDO again group one this way continuously that is one but the days I remember very well today 5th September 2020 another date 6th April 2005 no sorry not 6th April uh, 14th February 14th February sorry yeah 14th February 2006 another date 31st December 900 and not, 1999 one 31st December 1999 children none of you are born at that time I mean primary high school children if some elders some college students are watching then it's okay uh, that was the time next day it's not just a new year it's going to be a new millennium till then we had 1994 1995 1996 1997 this kind now from next day onwards it's going to be 2001 2000 2000 2000 2020 now so it's a new millennium on that day at that time SIF police examination was going on I told students oh, let's make this day memorable let this make this night memorable I'll take up a class all through the night you come you come at 8 o'clock in the night We'll t I'll take up the class till 5.30 in the morning, so or <laughs> they said, Are, this opportunity will not come to you every day, man. Come on, you are going to be police officers. You should be strong, I said, motivated them. They came, my God, they enjoyed the class like anything. 11.50, when the new year was about to break, they stopped, sir, 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 please. And they brought some Coke bottle. At that time, I was not against Coke and <laughs> Pepsi. Okay, <laughs> later on, I understood children have become very, very, uh, so... At the time, I allowed them. They are all grown-up people after all. They uh, splashed coke all around. They pu uh, put me on their shoulders. They, uh, they ran. They, they danced for 10-20 minutes. Again, 12-20, we had uh, dinner uh, for 15-20 minutes. 1 o'clock, again my class started till 5.45. So I remember that date. The second day to that, I remember. Second day, I remember 13th February 2005. My daughter, Vasudha Deritka, died. Next day, uh, at Bansilal crematorium, there were ceremonies. Morning, I went there. I performed uh, those ceremonies at Bansilal Sikandarabad crematorium. I directly went to Slate Rabbits. At that time, I was taking a class for NTSC students, eighth class students. They were writing national talent search examination class, I mean, exam. At that time, it was for eighth class. Now, it is for tenth class. So I was taking a class for them. So I directly from crematorium, I went to the class. I took the class and everybody was shocked to see me in the school because my daughter died just one day before that day and next day ceremonies. But I did my duty. In fact, that is the easiest way to bring down the grief in my heart. So I went to the school, performed my duties and came back then. I remember that day. Today, again, lockdown, every child at home and I'm taking this marathon class all through the day, 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock non-stop. So, I remember, isn't it? So, same way, when there is hardship, where there is something special you remember, when something is routine, I, every day we forget it, isn't it, children? So, make your corona times the, the best memory in your life. Work hard, learn a lot, sharpen your creative skills, acquire life skills, make it the most memorable, my dear children. Turn this crisis into a opportunity. Okay? Yes, now next. Uh, One uh, more greetings, question. Greetings. I think a lot of greetings have come. Questions are there, sir, in plenty. Okay. Uh, one Mr. Rajshikar is continuously asking us to ask you this question. Sir, what is your favorite subject? <laughs> sir, I see no boundaries between subject and day. Anthropology, in fact, uh, is a holistic subject. It has got a bit of biology, a bit of, a bit of everything. It talks about human society. Holistic. So, I can't tell that uh, anthropology is my favorite subject. Anthropology, sociology, geography, history, 
every subject i find beauty physical science physics chemistry uh, when you approach the subject uh, in the proper way proper direction every subject uh, is interesting philosophy i mean many people children they don't get an opportunity to read uh, books of philosophy it is so challenging so absorbing so i can't say one subject as my favorite subject but i have become popular with the students uh, with two subjects i mean during my competitive exams uh, training days history and anthropology people used to say sir mere history cheptala matlab paathralu kalla mundu kadultai sir ala subhash chandra bose bhagat singh ni gandhi ni tisukochi kalla mundu nilche pettestaru sir ante feel ayi cheppalandi edaina gaani avathala vaallu uh, group who are the people sitting in front of us you should understand you should use the methodology appropriate methodology and feel undali manasulo once that feel is there the class becomes interesting ala gaakunda edo cheppal kabatti points cover cheyal kabatti cheptu pote a class kuda interesting ga undadu so i think i've answered but with the qualified this thing yeah so two parents uh, lohit sai's parent and akhira nandan's parents they would like to know uh, is coding helpful if so how and they need a clarity on uh, should they be teaching their children about building apps and learning coding sir if they are in uh, middle school sixth class onwards uh, it is helpful but don't uh, spend too much of time there is a strong opinion that uh, this coding is being done by tech companies to promote their devices uh, i don't say it is entirely correct no doubt coding to some extent helps children to develop critical thinking i agree but uh, too much of emphasis too much of too much into that is not good there are a lot children should learn sir children's learning should be like a thali south indian or north indian thali the thali as you know has got number of things like you got a bit of pickle rasam sam a bit of south indian thali rasam sambar curd uh, curry poriyal in tamil this way lots of at least you no know, dozen items everything in right proportion you don't get uh, uh put um, i mean the curry this much and rice this much isn't it in the right balance same way the education the curriculum the subjects of children should be rightly balanced so in that uh, this coding from middle school onwards can be like a pickle that's it if somebody makes it as the main meal i mean the rice or chapati or roti then it is wrong yes next question said so, uh, again two mothers yogit of class 3 and rishi of class 4 e uh, both of them are good at studies but they have become hyperactive and uh, they are spending more time on gadgets playing games parents mothers are not able to control them they say and they want some tips on how to manage uh, uh, they are from which branch uh, one is from vijayawada one is from amirpet rishi is from amirpet yogit is from vijayawada ma'am mar bring rishi to school on monday i'll talk to rishi and uh, who is other child yogit 3a vijayawada lohit na yogit yogit i'm coming to vijayawada quite soon i'll talk to you you know you're all intelligent children playing on gadgets play, playing these and that and it, it doesn't help you in any way it's like you spoiling your body you spoiling your mind why you want to punish yourself my dear child just think of it yes you feel bored i do agree okay i also felt bored during lockdown but what i did i started looking into or what is this corona everybody is terrorizing us then i understood number of things i understood that corona is no doubt a health risk no doubt but not the way it is made out to be lot of exaggeration i started educating people now hundreds and hundreds of people are thanking not just late parents others are because of you we have recovered from this we are living happily we are living without fear so how i used my spare time in a productive way what i should do as a child play games is like killing time acquire some skill my dear child read books story books general books on internet write something develop a hobby sharpen your creative skill write a poem write a story write diary there are lots of things do that 
so that you are building a proper base to your future now your mothers are so worried why because they care for you they love you that much they know what damage what harm you are doing for yourself now why you want to punish yourself why you want to uh, give this kind of punishment to your parents think of it my dear children no it's not correct okay be good children use for you i don't get anything your mothers don't get anything if you go in a wrong way yes but we care for you we love you tomorrow after 10 years 15 years when you look back you should all thank us yes on that day my mother has guided me in the right direction my father has guided me in the right direction my sir has told me the right things in that way you should think so playing with electronic gadgets is very bad for his later two points number one no to junk food number two no to smartphone except when compulsorily you handle uh, smartphone for google meet except for those two occasions if you are touching smartphone then you are not my child then you are not a slater i'm just telling you understand yes play games lots of things can be done okay keep this in mind and all such parents if you are not able to counsel the children i am in hyderabad i am planning to visit vijayawada tirupati also shortly i'll be indicating the date also bring those children after all government has asked uh, not to start the school but if some parent is coming and meeting me along with the child many parents were coming i mean uh, no government can stop isn't it and i am ready i am corona free <laughs> i met i spoke to thousands of people during the, i've been going to tv studios very very often i didn't got corona to put it malli ena don't think that i am over confident i am very cautious corona ka naga ante bayam i am telling in a jovial way what i mean to say that i take all precautions so i am not uh, worried so you can bring your child of course i'll make them sit at some distance i'll counsel the child we'll take care okay i think time is uh, 11:14 now sir 14 so you work up i'm like 15 minutes right yes yeah. read some of the greetings yeah. because questions are also in plenty yeah, though but uh, greetings also should be read questions i'll carry it forward the next session also yes sir so we have uh, some more uh, greetings uh, this is kaustub of class 4a wishing us a happy teachers day manivardhan class 5e from karmanghat uh, vidhi i think i've already read this This is uh, Medhansh of class 3 from Vijayawada wishing a very happy teachers day. Harshita Krishna class 3B happy teachers day. Uh, Hanvit class 1 happy teachers day ma'am and sir. Uh, Tanvika Reddy 1H Tanvika Agarwal happy teachers day to all our teachers without you our children cannot be anything. Hats off to all teachers. Thank you so much ma'am. Sufyan Ali uh, class 3I Ramya and uh, Bhagya Rekha Yusuf Ibad class 4D happy teachers day to Amarnath sir and all my dear teachers of Slater school I am proud to be a Slater thank you so much uh, Yusuf Funny Vyas and Manihas from class 3B happy teachers day to all my teachers Dr Pratyusha Narendra happy teachers day sir Murli Reddy Garu happy teachers day Jaladi Prasanna Garu happy teachers day sir uh, Gunjan Tapadia very happy birthday Gunjan she's from Abits happy teachers day they've mentioned now Aradhya class 3C of Vijayawada happy teachers day ma'ams and sir Archana Jakotia ji happy teachers day sir Salman yes, happy teachers class, gunjan? day uh, gunjan i don't remember did we check the class okay. gunjan uh, primary. your uh, primary. Birthday, birthday gift to me if you are in third class or higher class i want you to write diary and post it to your adp your special birthday diary okay and that will be the best birthday gift for me okay right continue Uh, Gagana Sri class 1A from Vijayawada happy teachers day to all my dear teachers and to sir Ehsan class 1 uh, Manoj Manonit class 2G Nagat Jyoti happy teachers day sir and ma'ams Kavita Sarda ji Sharat R happy teachers day Ajitesh from class 5A Nitya class 1A from Vijayawada only Vijayawada parents i think are mentioning the wing other parents also requested to kindly mention the name of the branch of the child and the class in section raghavendra reddy garu happy teachers day karti kanche from class 3a karmanghat happy teachers day sufyan ali 
Kavita Asudani, happy Teachers Day to all the teachers and to the wonderful parents as they are also the first teachers of children who teach primary the principles. traits of life primary, with love and compassion. Sonia Jain, uh, wishing us a happy Teachers Day. Suweba, happy Teachers Day, sir. Sai Srikar, 3B, happy Teachers Day, sir. Minakshi Kansal, happy Teachers Day, sir. Arangam Shashikala, happy Teachers Day. Bhavani Sunke, we appreciate your work, sir. Now your speech also. Thank you, sir. Ishan, class 3A, Suvarna Venmulapalli, Venmulapalli. Happy Teacher's Day. Suhasini Garu, Happy Teacher's Day, Sir. Aman Khan, Class 4D, Happy Teacher's Day, Sir. Samarth Singh, Class 2. Boram Pet, Happy Teacher's Day, Sir. Kavita Akula Garu, wishing us a Happy Teacher's Day. DVK Shrikar, 4th C, Happy Teacher's Day, Sir. N Rajani Garu, Happy Teacher's Day, Sir. Manaswini, 4A, Happy Teacher's Day. Lata Rajesh, Happy Teacher's Day, Sir. Bhagya Rekha Garu, wishing a Happy Teacher's Day to all lovely teachers. And Ramya Chari, more wishes coming in. Okay, children. Uh of primary classes your principals have come here to wish you happy teachers day to start with slate abits primary children here is sangini ma'am wishing you happy teachers day children missing you all so much yes thank you for your wishes i received i'm waiting to see you all back bye love you betas okay now slate amir pet meena ma'am Slate Amir Pet Primary Wing. Good morning, children. Slightly back, yeah, okay. I wish all of you a very happy Teacher's Day and thank you all for your wishes, children. We miss you a lot. Hope to see you soon. Okay, now Slate Common Guard Primary. Slaters, your principal ma'am, Sunita ma'am is here. Hello, children. I'm very glad to receive all your messages. Awaiting to see you soon and keep keep watching all these videos. They are all very informative. Thank you all. Okay, now uh, Slate Chimayat Nagar, Uma Ma'am, Principal Uma Ma'am is here to wish you hap, uh, Happy Teacher's Day. You should wish her. <laughs> Greet you. Okay, and thank you. Good morning, children. Thanks for all your wonderful wishes. Keep studying. Keep remembering us. We, we, we are really waiting for you all. Thank you. Now, Sushma ma'am from Slate Bowrampet is here to greet you. Good morning, my dear Slaters. We all were reading the messages and the videos that you have been sending us since yesterday. And uh, thank you so, so, so much for making our day so special. We really cherish the cards, the greetings that you have been sending to us. Thanks once again a lot. Uh, Pre-primary principles are there. Yes. Then I them. We, I actually, I should have done that during pre-primary session. Children would have allowed that, but uh, the time was less. Uh, and uh, all the primary children and primary parents, or whosoever are watching this session, this session will end in another five minutes, ten, eight, ten minutes. minutes. But uh, it's only for a. We want to pause that video. There will be just one minute break, and the next session will continue. Okay, so there is no compulsion that you should stop watching it by 11.30. You can continue watching all the parents, all the children, even primary children, even pre-primary children. If somebody is watching now, they can continue watching till they get bored. I will not get bored, so I will be talking to you. Okay, so pre-primary children, if any of them are watching, and not only pre-primary children, your primary children, your principals, when you are in UKG, LKG, are here to wish you. It is Margaret Ma'am. Children, Margaret Ma'am is coming. Be serious. <laughs> Hello, children. Miss you all a My God, lot. So today. <laughs> Miss you all a lot. We have read your messages and we have read slightly, your messages. Slightly, slightly, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Hello, children. We, uh, we have read your messages a lot. Missing you all a lot. Uh, waiting for you all to come back to school. Love you all, children. And uh, Slade Thirupati, children. Raj ma'am is here. Now Raj ma'am is in, uh, I know you are in Amir Pet, <laughs> but uh, hardly any Amir Pet child has seen you, okay, except in virtual classes. Slate Thirupati, children. Now Raj Ma'am is in Hyderabad, she is in Amir Pet branch. So Amir Pet children, Tirupati children, it is Raj Ma'am wishing you. 
थैंक यू सो मच सर हेलो ऑल मिसिंग ऑल द तिरुपति चिल्ड्रन मिसिंग स्लेट तिरुपति अ लॉट इफ गिवन अ प्रिविलेज श्योरली विल गो आफ्टर फ्यू इयर्स बैक टू तिरुपति एंड थैंक यू ऑल चिल्ड्रन रेड ऑल योर मैसेजेस मिसिंग यू अ लॉट अमीर पेट चिल्ड्रन वुड लाइक टू सी यू एट स्कूल वेरी सून एंड थैंक यू फॉर मेकिंग आर डे सो स्पेशल थैंक यू ऑल लव यू ऑल डियर चिल्ड्रन thank you sir thank you and now slate himayat nagar primary children you are principal when you are in pre primary classes also pre primary children if any of them are watching here is mary ma'am good morning children hi how are you all thank you so much for your wonderful wishes i was seeing everybody all the wishes reading all your wishes from morning i love you all waiting to see you all naughty children bye thank you so much now slate high school slate karman gad high school children your vice principal ma'am is now working as pre primary principal jay lakshmi ma'am here is she so not many pre primary children may be knowing her but uh, many high school children of uh, slate karman gad will uh, remember her will recollect her yes ma'am hello slaters uh, thank you all for the wonderful wishes i am very happy to receive your warm wishes on this day many slaters like high school students also have been wishing me on fb as well as whatsapp thank you all for the wishes and we all miss you a lot awaiting to see you all at school all the best slaters take care of your health eat well okay stay healthy thank you all now slate bawram pet uh, children here is nidhi ma'am wishing you pre primary primary children hello slaters it was so good to receive your greeting cards your wishes uh, today morning and uh, i hope that uh, we meet soon and i see you soon when the school reopen love you all so now uh, we are left with how many more minutes in the primary session 6 minutes 6 minutes yeah one or two questions uh, i'll yes. answer as i said all the viewers all the people who are watching this program will continue only thing is we don't want to make the video too long because if it is posted a long video of 4 hours posted somebody wants to rewatch it uh, it will diffi be difficult so we are breaking it into parts once the primary program ends in just 2 minutes the next segment will start it will be continuation okay yeah next question please sir i am father of nitya Uh, sorry jitya of class 2 from boram page you're truly an inspiration sir and we are uh, proud to be associated with slate ses sir uh, my question to you sir is we would like to know from you how do you handle pressure and how can one overcome failures so pressure when we don't like something we feel pressure children let me let me talk from the children's point of view also from adults point of view profession if you love what you are doing you don't feel the pressure to a great extent okay but not all i love my profession so i don't feel the pressure but not all people are so fortunate some of you might be in a profession which is not uh, close to your heart and it is compulsory it is not easy to change the profession so in such a circumstance uh, under such like circumstances what i would suggest is tell yourself it's like neuro linguistic programming every day twice i like my profession i like my profession i like it when you start telling i hate this i hate this i hate this it it will go up your hatred your dislike will go up when you start telling i like this i like this i like this in course of time you will fall in love with that that is number 1 number 2 enjoy the work there is always some intrinsic beauty give breaks you can't keep doing things continuously especially i mean software engineers sitting at home work i mean same place at least no earlier days going to office was fun traveling in car i mean cab or whatever okay bus or whatever was some fun talking to friends and after going to home I and mean, going to office there is always something that you can chat now and then uh, if you are feeling bored you talk to your uh, neighbor or your colleague during lunch break but now same routine surely it is we are all human beings we are social animals many of my students are working as jail superintendents they are the bosses of jails 
I had this privilege of visiting jails, <laughs> not as a criminal, but with all the dignity, honor. I was taken to solitary cells, the greatest punishment that can be given. See, if somebody commits a crime, they are sent to jail. Again, not all the cells in jail are same. If people commit crimes even within the jail, they are already in the jail, but they torture uh, the fellow inmates or if they, they don't listen to the, the officers there, you know what is the punishment? They are kept in solitary confinement for days together. They can't talk, they can't see anybody except the person who is giving them uh, food one, uh, two, two times in a day. Except for with that person, they cannot even see any other human being. It's the greatest mental torture. And they tell me, sir, if people are put here within 10 days, 15 days, even the notorious criminal, they melt down and they, they try to change their ways. So, forcibly, I mean, whatever, we are undergoing all this. But give a break. Just go out within the limits, within wherever you can go out, talk to people, give a break. This is the way. If you are continuously bombarding your brain with the activity, the capacity goes down, the tolerance goes down. We should breathe fresh air, we should look at sky, we should feel the air, we should look at the greenery around all the time, four hours, no. So take breaks, love the work, enjoy, do something which is close to your heart. When I am feeling very bored or a bit low, I listen to classical music, MS Subalakshmi, Mangalam Pali, Balmurali Krishna, Gantasala, any melody, even the old Hindi songs, Kishore Kumar, anything which is fine, which is touch, heart touching. And it gives me a break, it gives me a kind of relaxation. Some other person may like to do some painting, cooking gives them, gives many people great relaxation. Do something which is close to your heart, give a break, make every day interesting, don't, a day should be puddhuna leste, exciting. So I'm going to take up a, a big class from 9 to 5. Today is my day, field day. <laughs> so I will, I, I'm enjoying this. It gives me a break from the routine. That way, do something novel. Prati rozu, mana tinde tine tindilo, chese panilo, ento konta novelty undali, ento konta, we should be aka. We should be looking forward. Today is going to be challenging. Tomorrow is going to be this way, that way. Make every day schedule slightly different from earlier day schedule. Make it as enjoyable as possible. And coming to uh, facing failures, I'll talk about it uh, probably in the high school section because that is a big topic, interesting topic, quite uh, important topic. Now, how many lift, uh, minutes we are left with? Over. Okay, parents, as I was telling, we'll just take a break just for the sake of posting these videos. Within one and a half minute or two minutes, we'll be back. Okay? Now, end it. Pause the videos, please. Share it.